When working in VS Code's integrated terminal, you can use the scroll to previous command and scroll to next command to navigate through your command history. Now to demonstrate this, first I'm going to start in the integrated terminal and I'm going to run a few commands. So let's do pwd, and then we'll do ls here, and I'm going to do echo a, echo b, and then let's just do a cat readme just to get a bunch of output on the screen here. And you can see that I can scroll back through my file his or through my command history and actually see the output of all these commands, but I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Now the first command is the scroll to previous command action. So let's open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P on Mac and say scroll to previous. So terminal scroll to previous command here. And when I run this, what it will do, so I'll just run this here, it will actually scroll the terminal so that the top of the terminal is on the last command that I ran. So you can see cat read me here, that was the last command that I ran. If I run this command again, so open the command palette, say scroll to previous command, you'll see it goes to echo B, run this again, goes to echo A. So we're just navigating backwards through the previous commands that we've run here in the terminal output. Now scroll to the next command does the same, except it would navigate forward. So here we started on LS, and if we go and open the command palette, we say scroll to next command. So terminal scroll to next command. You can see that it starts navigating forward through the commands that we've run. So we have echo A, echo B, and then cat readme. And finally, go down to your, the current prompt. Now on macOS, there's actually a key binding out of the box for this. So you can use command and then the up and down arrow keys to navigate through the command history. So I'll do that just here to demonstrate. So up arrow is navigating to the previous commands, down arrow to navigate to the next commands. On Windows and Linux, you can easily set up a key binding for this action as well. So you just set up one for the scroll to previous command and scroll to next command, and then you could have a key binding that would be active on Windows and Linux. So that is the integrated terminals scroll to next command and scroll to previous command.